Greetings, people. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. I would like to share a video that I watched. Black folks pick cotton as late as the 1960s. I work in the yard periodically, water, uh, do a few digging and planting and sitting in the sun, working in the sun. And after 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I am sweating, miserable, hot, but I suppose um, our ancestors my age would be working in the, in the home or dead, rather, one. I just can't imagine with the ancestors that's living in my bones, running up and down my spine, what they went through, working, Picking cotton as late as the 60s. And then not having hot water, sanitary napkins, deodorant. The very things that I could run in the house and immediately indulge in. They could not. I just don't know how they did it. And I salute them. I bow down to them. I give them homage. I respect them. I have a newfound respect for my mother. Now that I'm learning about CRT, which is on social media, I'm realizing now what my mother, my father, my sisters and brothers, what they went through in this country in the early 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. I didn't know anything of it. I'm just not learning now. It was all hidden in school. They didn't teach it. What do they worry about critical race theory for? Because it's always been. I'm just now learning critical race theory on social media. It don't have to be in school, which I'm recommending people come out of school, these schools anyway, because they have entity set up there to screw up your child's mind. But yeah, picking cotton and, and slavery is institutionalized again here with the 13th Amendment. There's a loophole that if a black man, woman and child is convicted of a crime, whether they did it or not, they are automatically enslaved again. So, I salute my ancestors for what they went through and what they're going through now. Dante Perez Jones, an ex-veteran, found hanging in Bluebell, Pennsylvania, and they ruled it automatically a suicide and loud a gathering to erase all evidence on Juneteenth behind a police station Juneteenth was a trinket that they gave us 200 plus times a bill was ignored under the dim and the rep, the ass and the mammoth. They rejected the bill to stop lynching black people in this country. Why would you have to pass that bill by 200 plus times to stop lynching black people? Let that resonate with you. What's happening now too, I wanna to share that a lot of Caucasian 
American females are getting their lips pumped up, plumped up. They're wearing Bantu knots. They say it's a compliment that um, they admire us. But it, I see a change. They're, they're stealing songs openly. I saw a video where they sliced the head of one of the Sphinx and inserted another piece in there that support their narrative of what the Egyptians look like. It wasn't good enough that they blasted off the nose. They have inserted pieces in there to make like Egypt was Caucasian in that hot sun. Just do the math. Just think, Egyptians, Caucasian Americans in Egypt, where the sun, where no uh, sunscreen is, and the sun is a hundred plus at any given day. But know this, they respect or what they admire our full lips. I don't have them. It is just amazing how I just running across and seeing pictures and videos of them and their lips are full of demands. Years ago, we had the padded hips and padded buttocks. You didn't have to go drastic and get um, mechanism inserted into your behind. You just wore a padded butt and hips and you took it off at night. But I want to share that when they have children, if anyone is having children, because this world is so anti-children. And with this role versus way overturned, they don't want children. I said A, contraceptive. B, carve and burn up a live baby that have nerve endings. Which would you choose, A or B? And it just baffled me of the many that choose B versus A. But when you have a child, your child is going to have those Caucasian lips. You cannot hide DNA. You cannot hide truth. So I just want to share that with you. And we have to stop mimicking them with their hair, their everything. We had to do it years ago assimilate to be acceptable with them with the blonde hair and the pancake makeup um but now it's a it's acceptable because they say it's acceptable but what about your men our men have full lips so when are they men gonna start pumping up their lips <laughs> that's gonna be like oh my gosh but peace if you can find it thanks for tuning in this listening i'm just shooting the, the breeze thanks for tuning in like share leave a comment hit the notification bell peace if you could find it playing my pretty music peace within people peace in your mind because it's hard to find it out here peace within <laughs>